What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I am here today with the Flow Gandalf, the Flow Master, the Flow Ninja, John Liu. What's up, buddy? Hello. Good morning. John Liu says oh, good morning. And, and he's he means it. It's 3.30 in the morning for him right now. He has, I put something on his calendar and like a crazy man, he didn't alert me that it was too early. He just accepted. And so here we are. He's, uh, he, he saw my video last week where I did multi-layer approvals with you guys. And, uh, and this week he said to me, John, I want to show you another way. And he's so kind, he wouldn't say a better way. So I'm gonna say it for him. He's gonna show us a better way to deal with our comments inside of our approvals rather than the the very, very simple way that I showed you last week. So without further ado, John, take a second, introduce yourself, let people know where they can follow you, and then go ahead and take it away. The floor will be yours, sir. Okay, uh, hello. Wait, let me see. Hello, my name is John, John Liu. I'm from Australia, from Sydney. Uh, I used to be called the Flow Ninja. Now, I, I guess I'm still the Flow Ninja. You are still the Ninja. Flow Ninja, okay, still yeah. Flow Ninja. Um, for as long as there are flows. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, John N Liu. So not John Liu, John N Liu, there's an extra N. Uh, that's where I'm most active, uh, but um, I also have my blog, johnliu.net. So a while ago, I wrote this uh, blog post, which I'll share with this URL. And it's basically how to use select to simplify create HTML table and also create CSV. And um, I wanted to you know, introduce this to the citizen developers that uh, you know, in Flow, I often go into lots and lots of expressions and they can get quite crazy. But in this particular example, we're actually just going to use select uh, and then create HTML table and actually not use that much expressions, awesome. uh, particularly with dealing with uh, uh, arrays. So any kind of array responses like the new approval array uh, approval responses, which is now an array of objects. Yep. Okay, and uh, we'll pop this example. Okay. So uh, just a menu, menu trigger, create an approval. Uh, I've actually got three people to, to respond, and this is the first to respond scenario. Um, and we'll just look at that and wait for it. There's nothing special. I just saw something. I, I, I love that you have Gandalf at John Liu is an email there. That's amazing. <laughs> I love all that. My, all my uh, people in my tenant are from Lord of the Rings. I love it. I also have uh, Gimli. I had uh, his clown. Um, <laughs> I had uh, I had um, Smeagol, but he's actually, he didn't make it, so he got ah, to Gotcha. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, so let's continue. So, um, so before I do so, say for example in the response here, and uh, say we want to do something like, you know, when you're recording, it's extra slow. Anyway, and then say we wanted this response text, response uh, comments. See here, responses comments. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's plural, plurals, it looks like if I click it, it will put it into apply to each. Yep. Right, and that's a that's a behavior that we probably see a lot by now. Uh, well, basically, so if, you, the, if, if you watched the video last week, this is yes, exactly what was happening, and so this is this is what I left alone. I told people when it drops it in the apply to each. In this case, we don't have to worry about that. Leave it alone. But now, now John's got a better way. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, so the, the technique I want to set, I want to talk about is use select and then use uh, create HTML table. So let me just delete these two. And it's very simple. Um, select is a an action in flow. Uh, the main idea of select is that uh, you have an array like the responses. And the responses has many properties, 
but you don't want all the properties. You just want to select a couple of them. So mm -hmm. say, for example, you put the responses at the top. And when you use select this way, it's expecting an array anyway, so it's not going to create and apply to each. It's just going to uh, kind of stand along like this. Um, and then on the right hand side of this select, you could scroll down and say, oh, I want, uh, let me see, we want things from the, the weight. So we want things like the response comments, like that one. Uh, and so on. So that's a comment, which is actually the same as that one. Uh, I'll just delete that. It's the same as that. Um, we don't need the extra row. And I actually took three fields. So there's about about six or seven properties on the responses. Uh, I took three. I want the approver. So I want the approver name. Uh, there is also an approver email. Uh, I want the responses. So actually, did they say yes or did they actually reject it? And then I want the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, so what this select will return us is rather than the big array of lots and lots of properties, this will basically select uh, a responses. So it's still potentially one or many responses, uh, but each one only has three properties. Okay. okay? So it's creating and, its own little its own yeah. little left and right columns. Yeah. And also because uh, you get to pick what's on the left hand side. You actually can def use this as a way to define the name of your property. So it doesn't really have to say, you know, comments like a lowercase yep. comments or approver response was the old name. I basically change it to response. Nice. Um, and then to follow on from the select, you could just say use the create HTML table, which is similar to select in many cases. In in many respects, it, it accepts an array as a input. But in this case, we could just leave it on automatic. We just say, no, don't need to specify anything. We just want to automatically convert this array, which has three fields, into a table. Okay. And once our HTML table will convert, and we could just send an email with that body right in here. Okay. Okay, so quite a simple way to deal with arrays avoiding apply to each because um, in apply to each if you want to combine the results you end up having to do uh, variables and then append things into a variable and then collect you kind of stitching things together whereas yeah. uh, select and create HTML table is more like let's just pick out a few columns that we want and then immediately uh, translate them into HTML table yeah it definitely keeps it a lot neater a lot cleaner for yeah. sure in the flow, yeah. I think, and in in like uh, the the process as well, right? Because now it's a lot cleaner. If someone comes and looks at this and tries to edit this flow, this is going to yeah. be a lot easier to troubleshoot. And also, the output is actually a lot neater uh, than what we would get, you know, because we're we're able to pass more information this way rather than yeah. just grabbing the simple responses comments on its own and then having that go through a loop. Yeah. So uh, let's quickly try that. Um, I have to bump you off, John. I'm sorry. Okay. No, please do. I actually always tell people, you don't, people don't need to see two of me. You already got one of me down in the corner yeah, there. No, I can't see any of you. That's you a... can't. You can't see me in the bottom corner? I see no. you. No, I don't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me start that. And... Um, where am I going to go? I'm going to open the approvals in a different tab. So because I'm also one of the approvers in the choice of three, mm -hmm. uh, uh, this should appear here for me. Uh, first respond, 20 there seconds ago. That's the one. There it is. I will approve and then I'll give a comment as well. So anything oh and says at four AM is yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna approve yes to that. Okay. And quickly type back here while well, it's so you'll see that one's finished. This approval was a first response, so it will collapse. It will not wait for all three person. Yep. Um, 
And if I look, if you look at select and uh, yeah, you can see. So this is the original array and it's got lots of properties. In fact, it's got a responder, which is a nested person inside. Uh, but the result is just the three properties that we pick up with the nice. name that we wanted. I love that's that. that. That's our new name. That's not what it was. This is just, yeah, that's the that's the key and the value, right? So we get yep. to pick that. And create ML, because it uses this result, it actually, uh, see, it just, it just automatically creates this. That's awesome. I love it. Right? So very little, like you don't even, like we don't even write HTML here. It just kind of because we're leaving it on default, so it just yeah. it just converts that to this, uh, and that will go nicely into the email. It's an HTML email. It goes in there, uh, and if I pull out an email, so suddenly, John, I feel a little bit bad teaching people another way to do this. This is such a clean, oh. efficient, better way to do it. Well, you may want to, you know, calculate or do something with this. So then in the apply to each, that may still make sense. Uh, um, like, I think, I think this is a quick way of doing it. And I yeah, think the nice. main benefit is learn, and like you may not be familiar with select. Select is a pretty fun uh, action to use. Definitely. And this is a pretty good example to say, oh, why do we need to use select? Well, you have complex arrays. You just want a few fields. Yep. And then it enables your edge create HTML table to be really simple. I um, love it. So, and then uh, let's quickly see this email. At 3 a.m., my office 365 is also slow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the HTML is just. Look simple. at that. Nice. Yeah. Um, Very I, nice. I, uh, yeah, I actually think, see here, it says columns automatic. Uh, no, I don't want to do custom. No. Yeah. But you could, you know, if you just want the comments, you could just delete these two. Yep. No, totally. Right? So if you delete this, you would just get a table of just the comments. No, and I think this is great. It it uh, it displays like the flexibility. You know, you the more information you want, the more mm. information you can add. And so I think it's yeah. this is actually a good step up. I think I think it's a good addition, a good next level to show people kind of how to take and refine their flows. Mm. That's a good way to put it, right? Mm. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, there is yeah. uh, actually just one more. The response date. That's the uh, one. I was Oh. And so, so if you a, are if you're in a everyone must respond scenario, then you actually might want to know, okay, who responded in what order? And you know, John responded yeah. on Monday and Gandel was Wednesday. Yep. Uh, so and there's also completion produce. date as well. If you want to measure between like how long it took for the flow to start and finish, I, I believe as well. I I think I saw completion date in there yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah awesome. there it is. That's the that's the final one. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Awesome. That's well, uh, that's select and create HTML table. I love it. John, thanks so much, man, for waking up at 3 a.m. <laughs> to come and join us and do this video. This has been fantastic. I, I know this will add a lot of value for a lot of people. This is going to refine my approval flow for sure. So thanks a lot, man. Cool. All right. Well, hey. <laughs> What'd you say? Play with select. Oh, we should do another one next time. We'll do filter array. Perfect. That's also another fun one. Perfect. You heard John. Go play with select. Click like. Click subscribe. Go down in the description. Follow his blog. Follow his Twitter. He is the wizard. He's always coming up with great stuff like this. So that's it from us for today. You guys know what to do. Much love. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh!